Have you ever wondered how a single event can spark a citywide conflict? Today, we're taking a close look at one such incident, the Los Angeles riots of 1992, a six-day turmoil that shook the city to its core, revealing deep-seated issues of racism, economic inequality, and a profound mistrust in the criminal justice system. Stay tuned as we delve into the sequence of events that led to the Los Angeles riots. Every fire starts with a spark, and in the case of the Los Angeles riots, that spark was the Rodney King incident. A story that unfolded on the streets of Los Angeles, a city known for its glitz and glamour, but also for its deep-seated racial tensions and economic disparities. Rodney King, an African-American construction worker, was pulled over after a high-speed chase in the early hours of March 3, 1991. Four Los Angeles Police Department officers, all white, were involved in his arrest. The scene that unfolded next was captured on tape by an onlooker. The footage showed the officers brutally beating King, even after he was already incapacitated and laying on the ground. This incident of excessive force was not just a random act of violence, it was a manifestation of the systemic issues within the LAPD. The Christopher Commission, formed in the aftermath of the incident, found evidence of racial bias and a pattern of excessive use of force within the department. The Rodney King case quickly became a national concern, the brutal footage was televised across the nation, sparking outrage and demanding justice. The four officers involved were charged but the subsequent trial was anything but straightforward. The trial was moved to predominantly white Simi Valley, away from the diverse population of Los Angeles. The jury, without any black members, deliberated for seven days. On April 29, 1992, the verdict was announced. All four officers were acquitted of using excessive force. This decision, seen by many as a blatant miscarriage of justice, was the spark that ignited the simmering tensions in Los Angeles. The acquittal of the four LAPD officers was the tipping point. It was a stark reminder of the deep-seated racism, economic inequality, and mistrust in the criminal justice system that plagued not just Los Angeles, but the entire nation. It was the spark that lit the fire of the Los Angeles riots, a fire that would rage for six days, leaving a lasting mark on the city and the nation. In the hours following the verdict, Los Angeles became a city on fire. The initial outbreak of the riots was swift and brutal. Tensions that had been simmering beneath the surface erupted into the streets as a torrent of anger and frustration was unleashed. It was as if the city was a pressure cooker, and the verdict was the final turn of the valve. The people of Los Angeles feeling betrayed and unheard took to the streets to voice their discontent in the most visceral way possible. The violence was widespread and indiscriminate, buildings were set ablaze, stores were looted and cars were overturned. The city, once a bustling metropolis, was transformed into a war zone almost overnight. The cityscape was punctuated with plumes of smoke, the air filled with the acrid scent of burning rubber and the cacophony of sirens. In response to the outbreak, law enforcement was deployed in full force. Police officers and National Guard troops patrolled the streets clad in riot gear and armed with tear gas and rubber bullets, but their presence did little to quell the unrest. In many instances it only served to escalate the situation, as clashes between the police and the protesters became increasingly violent. But it wasn't just the physical violence that made the outbreak so devastating, it was the emotional toll it took on the residents of the city. It was the sight of their community being torn apart, the fear of not knowing if their homes or businesses would be next, and the deep-seated anger and frustration that had led to this point. Yet amidst the chaos there were also glimmers of humanity, neighbors helping neighbors, strangers offering aid to those in need, communities banding together in the face of adversity. It was a stark reminder that even in the darkest of times the human spirit can shine through. As the city descended into chaos the world watched in shock. But the violence did not stop there, it only escalated. As the days rolled on, the anger and frustration that ignited the Los Angeles riots only intensified. It was as if a flame had been lit, and now, it was consuming everything in its path. Over the course of six tumultuous days, the city was held hostage by its own inhabitants. The streets became a battlefield, a place where fear and fury clashed in a violent dance. The rioting was relentless, an outpouring of pent-up resentment and disillusionment, and it left a trail of destruction in its wake. The loss of life was profound. 63 souls were extinguished during those six days, a grim testament to the depth of the anger that had been unleashed. Each death a story cut short, 
each one a stark reminder of the human cost of societal dysfunction. Injuries too were widespread. More than 2,300 people bore the physical scars of the riots. These were not just numbers, but individuals, each with their own tale of pain and suffering. It was a horrifying testament to the magnitude of the violence that had erupted. The justice system, in its attempt to regain control, made over 12,000 arrests. It was a desperate and overwhelming response to an overwhelming situation, a city under siege from within. And then there was the property damage, it was estimated to be around $1 billion. Buildings were set ablaze, businesses looted, and neighborhoods left in ruins. The physical landscape of Los Angeles was altered, a visual representation of the emotional turmoil that had swept through its streets. The city was in ruins and it was clear that something had to be done. The escalation of the riots was a wake-up call, a loud and clear signal that change was not just necessary, it was urgent. The city and indeed the nation, could not afford to ignore the issues that had been laid bare by the riots. The time for action was now. The response to the riots was a mix of shock, outrage, and calls for change. As the smoke cleared and the city began to count the cost of the chaos, the reaction from the public was one of disbelief and horror. The extent of the violence and destruction was a stark reminder of the deep-seated issues of racism, economic inequality, and mistrust in the criminal justice system that had been simmering beneath the surface for far too long. Law enforcement was thrown into the spotlight, and criticism was rife. Amid the tumultuous aftermath, LAPD Chief Daryl Gates faced severe backlash. His leadership was scrutinized, with many accusing him of failing to adequately prepare and respond to the escalating situation. The outcry was so intense that it led to his resignation later that year. Simultaneously the government was under pressure to respond swiftly and decisively. The Christopher Commission was established to investigate the systemic issues within the LAPD. Their findings were damning. They uncovered widespread instances of excessive force, racial bias and a culture of aggression within the department. These revelations were a bitter pill to swallow, shining a harsh light on the systemic flaws within the very institutions designed to protect and serve the public. But it wasn't all condemnation and criticism, there were also calls for change, for a new approach to law enforcement, and for a more inclusive society that respected and valued all its members. The public demanded action, not just empty promises, and while change was slow and fraught with challenges, the response to the riots set in motion a series of reforms that would transform the LAPD and the city's approach to race relations. The aftermath of the riots brought about a time of reflection and change. As the city began to rebuild, so too did its commitment to addressing the deep-rooted issues that had contributed to the unrest. The response to the riots served as a critical turning point, a moment of reckoning that continues to shape Los Angeles and the nation to this day. When the smoke cleared, the city was forever changed. The Los Angeles riots of 1992 had left an indelible mark on the city and its people. The aftermath was a stark mirror reflecting deep-seated social and economic disparities that had been simmering beneath the surface. The long-term effects of the riots were profound, both physically and emotionally. The city, scarred by six days of violence, had to grapple with the loss of 63 lives, over 2,000 injuries, and a staggering $1 billion in property damage. But the toll was not just quantifiable, it was etched in the hearts and minds of the residents, a painful reminder of the fractures within their society. The aftermath also forced a hard look at the law enforcement practices. The Los Angeles Police Department, under scrutiny for its role in the events leading up to the riots, faced a wave of criticism. The Christopher Commission identified systemic issues of excessive force and bias within the department, leading to significant changes in the way law enforcement functioned. But the change was slow, and the path was fraught with challenges. The riots had unearthed deep-seated issues of racism and economic inequality, issues that had been festering for generations. These were not problems that could be solved overnight, and the struggle for equality and justice continued long after the last embers of the riots had been extinguished. Yet, in the face of adversity, the city showed resilience. The people of Los Angeles, in their struggle for justice, demonstrated the power of unity and the indomitable spirit of humanity. They stood together demanding change, fighting for a future where every citizen was treated with equality and respect. The Los Angeles riots remain a stark reminder of the deep-seated issues in our society. They serve as a call to action, a plea for understanding, and a challenge to each one of us. 
The aftermath of the riots is not just a chapter in the history of Los Angeles. It is a lesson for us all. A lesson about the power of unity, the importance of justice, and the enduring struggle for equality. So, what can we learn from the Los Angeles riots? Let's circle back to the key points we've discussed in this video. The Los Angeles riots, also known as the Rodney King riots, were a significant event in our history. They erupted in response to the acquittal of four LAPD officers charged with excessive force in Rodney King's arrest, lasting six tumultuous days. The riots resulted in 63 deaths, over 2,000 injuries, and a staggering 12,000 arrests. The damage to property was immense, amounting to an estimated $1 billion. These events were not random acts of violence but a reaction to long-standing racial tensions, police brutality, and cultural misunderstandings. The African-American and Korean-American communities were particularly affected, revealing deep-seated issues of racism and economic inequality. The riots brought these to the forefront, causing us to question the systemic issues within our society and more specifically within the LAPD. The leadership of the LAPD during this time, particularly that of Chief Daryl Gates, faced intense criticism. The Christopher Commission's investigation found systemic issues of excessive force and bias within the LAPD, highlighting the need for change. In the aftermath, the city had to grapple with the destructive consequences of the riots, but it also had to face the issues that the riots had laid bare. This led to changes within the LAPD and sparked nationwide discussions on racial tensions and police brutality. The Los Angeles riots serve as a stark reminder of the importance of understanding and addressing the complex issues that underlie societal unrest. They underscore the significance of our collective history in shaping the present and ultimately, the future. So, as we journey through the annals of history, let's remember the lessons that events like the Los Angeles riots teach us. It is only by understanding our past that we can hope to shape a better future. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the past. If you're intrigued by history and its profound lessons, let's continue this adventure together. Subscribe to our History Facts YouTube channel for more enlightening videos. Remember, history is not just about the past, it's about understanding our present and shaping our future. Subscribe to History Facts for more insights. Until next time.